the Yukik can play it. Yokik, I don't know how to say it. But yeah, so. <laughs> Look at all these things that EG can play. Like, Azale plays Holy Paladin, Ever Relic Spec, and Monk. Taubar plays Shadow Priest, Elemental Shaman, and Monk. Sidu plays Every Healer. Yeah. Gips plays Rogue, Barrel, and Disc Priest. And Volcazar plays Every Main Spec, and Elemental, and Unholy Death Knight. Well, I mean, when I look at this team, I kind of want to list up the things they're super strong with, and you know that they're strong with. And that is like Volcazar on mostly Fire Mage. I guess he's good with Frost as well. I haven't really seen him too much on that Frost spec. Yep, especially on that Feral. And uh, CD on Shaman and uh, every healer that's listed there. But I would look more on the C Drew and uh, uh, CD on Priest and C Real CD Man. And Azel on Afflection and uh, Elemental and Shadow Priest as well being for Talbodar. Even like you just look at those comps. And just try to ban. Just think about what you would ban, and you think about what they would pick. Those it would always be a strong comp, man. So I don't know, man. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be very rough for our team of winners coming. Now let's check out winners coming. They have Inflame, who plays uh, Arms Warrior, Fury Warrior, and Rep Paladin. They have Yakich, who plays both Death Knight specs and both. Uh, Druid DPS specs. You have Lagina, who plays all three Warlock specs. You have Oi, who plays all three Hunter specs. And then you have Hingo, their main healer, who plays both healing pre specs, Resto Shaman, and Holy Paladin. So, you know, no, not a lot of multi classing, but I feel like they're very specialized in what they do. I guess, you I know. mean, uh, they're a good team as well, man, and the ready checks are being in, so we're waiting for the first bands to be locked in, and I'm re real so I'm, I think actually Team EG is gonna ban the BM Hunter or Affliction Volok, and I feel like Winter's Coming is gonna ban Feral, and Winter's Coming is scared of CDU, man, we we're, were speaking about this with Azel, man, and we said actually Peoples might ban just Shaman because he's so good at it, and that's what's yeah. happening right now, I mean... He's definitely one of the best shamans right out there, and he wouldn't let Blaspidar. anyone die. Blaspidar! We're gonna see Blaspidar! Yeah. And then we're also going to see Hingo on that Resto Shaman. Uh, okay. Now, where do you go from here? You got ban number two. I would I ban Volok. Like... I mean, you ban Volok, and it's gonna be Elemental uh, Feral or Elemental Mage. It's still good com It's still, like, super strong comps, because it's strong uh, classes. Uh, but, yeah. I think uh, it's gonna be elemental uh, feral, and it's gonna maybe a disc priest. Or, uh, so that's my guess. I think Winter's Come is gonna ban the affliction wall because you're really scared of LSD. Obviously, I would be as well. Yep. And, you're right. Uh, that's what's gonna happen, and uh, I think it's gonna be either Yips and Feral for uh, Team EG, or it's gonna be Volcazar. So on uh, Fire Mage, both comps actually are super strong. So that's what I'm talking about, man. They can't outban this team. Yeah. And uh, Team EG bans the BM Hunter as well, I mean, good pick here. And I feel like they're just going to go with the Survival Hunter or something like that. They're going big bursts. We're going to see Team EG with the Destro Wallach and the Elemental Shaman. So that means that they're really just going to try and burst someone down. You know, they're not going to go for any extended play whatsoever. I'd assume we're going to see c do on the, the Resto Druid for this because I know that they've practiced that a decent amount. And yeah, they'll probably pick the Survival Hunter. And have a real spread DPS comp. Yeah. Well, that's actually going to be really hard for Cedar to heal through because, you know, I thought yesterday when we saw an Affliction Warlock with a Survival Hunter that it would be, you know, easy for the Druid to heal through, but it actually wasn't. But I'm surprised it actually, actually was really Azel hard. is playing on Destro, man. Oh, sorry, finish. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Yeah, Zill on Destro Warlock, I think he's a much better Affliction Warlock, but I still think he's really good at Destro. He's, and he, he can play all three specs. I think he said it himself that he's probably played Demonology more than any other Warlock in the world for Mr. Pandaria. And they're actually going to go Marksman Hunter. Okay. I don't know if I like that. We're going to have to find out. Uh, they really pigeonholed them into that, though. And this means that mana isn't really going to be an issue because the Affliction Warlock won't be able to spread as many dots because the Hunter is going to be scattershotting him off. So, yeah. So. Mm. Okay. Let's see which team I'm on. Looks like I'm probably going to be on the uh, Winter is Coming team. 
That's cool. I want to be on Team EG. <laughs> I want to be on Team EG. Oh, no. Come on, well, I oh, am in Team EG. Damn it! Damn it! It's okay. I'll chat. I'll chat with my boys, uh, Hingo, Laguna, and Boy. The big boys. Yeah, the evil eye is gonna come in against Team EG as well, guys. Hashtag Evil Eye, because I feel like he's gonna come in here. I feel like we're overestimating Team EG and underestimating who is coming. We're about to see some good matches, guys. Um, Probably. This is we're good comps. Putting a lot good of comps, so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. This is the Team EG that went to the last two North American regionals and the last two BlizzCons. Uh, it's Blast Badar, our famous elemental shaman, new new kid on the block. We have Zale, the Warlock, we have Sidu, the Druid, usually playing a Shaman, so none of them are playing they used to play, but it is a three players. So they have a decent amount of synergy, they know what they like to swap to, and that's really important, I feel like. But yeah, I mean, Affliction got banned, and <coughs> I mean, he feels comfortable, and he's gonna play no matter what. I mean, he can ban my Affliction, I'll just go... I'll just go Destro. It doesn't really matter. We have Thunder Lightning Burst. So yeah, I feel like that's either what's gonna happen for them. They're just gonna burst someone down in close windows. And uh, I feel like Winter's Coming is gonna have a lot of overall pressure, man. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're about to see, man. Uh, overall pressure team versus a burst team. That I feel like Evil Genius has the chance to kill whenever. Like, when they're under pressure, when they're about to lose, they can kill whenever. I mean,. It's just about when they connect this burst uh, cost me uh, at the same time, man. Am I still a robot? Uh, sometimes, but it's not much, man. Right. Call me, don't call the group, just call me directly. Okay? Okay. Okay, am I still a robot? I uh, know. You are super cool, man. Okay, thank you. You're cool. You're cool too, man. Thank you. Oh, nice. We just got cool commentators. This is a cool tournament. This is a cool day. Best day ever. Grand arena. So on my team, I have a dwarf shaman, a human warlock, and a human hunter. Uh, I guess dwarf shaman is really the only good alliance shaman, huh? Like. Well, I guess maybe maybe Panda. Now Panda sucks. That shit DRs. <laughs> but you know, Draenei sucks now, man. Like PvP power doesn't affect it. It's just affected by battle fatigue. So, you know, no one wants to run that thing, even if they do look cooler. You know, you know the most disappointing thing in the world. No. Lo losing to a boy Draenei elemental shaman. You know what's the worst? Uh, losing what? to. Uh, um Blood Elf Male Priest. I actually remember we had a game, and oh my it was God. versus. I actually, I don't know, man. There was a Blood Elf Male Priest, and there was a Blood Elf Male Mage or something like that coming in, and my team had just yelled out, "If we lose versus Blood Elf Males, I'm gonna go delete my character instantly." And, uh -oh. I, and I just had to laugh, man. But yeah, it was a 1400 team. Uh, I've never seen any good players on Blood Elf Male. <laughs> Me neither, uh, dude. You know what? I was playing with my triple rank one team, like all of them. All of us have rank one titles and threes, and we fought a feral druid, and we actually gave him twenty two hundred achievement. He got the twenty two hundred achievement from us. Well, it might my be triple rank one team it might be good. Some uh, it might be some good players just rolling on them all. No, 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 no. Like I checked his account. And he, that was the first time he got 2200 achievement. Uh, did you zone in, by the way? I'm zoning in right now. Oh, okay. I remember there was a uh, last patch, actually, uh, in 3v3 and 5v5. There was this uh, 1800 player that played the uh, triple boomkin rogue uh, healer. <laughs> and uh, there's a solar beam all over the map, and that player got up to like 2600 from 1800 in one patch, man. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah, I feel like he deserved it because his class was OP, you know? Yeah, he deserved it because of his class. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. That's how it works, guys. If your class is OP, you deserve it. 
<laughs> all right. So, guys, we have all been killed off now. Zil summoning his soul well to get those hellstones out. Just look at how you can even see on his undead female how handsome he is. Look at the jawline. Look specifically at the jawline. Sidu going to be throwing the rejuves out, trying to stack the shrooms, hopefully in the starting zone. And then look at this other team. We have, how do you pronounce that? OEI. Maybe OE? OE? Maybe OE? O. Laguna and Hingarik. And Laguna, I actually remember from a previous tournament, I thought he was sick. I actually thought he was so sick. So I'm excited to see these two Warlocks battle We are going to go into the game here. Here's a deep deep portal. They wanted just a safe one. Laguna just goes for the safe. Azel gets stopped on the good one, man. Good job by OE. And yeah, yeah Azel is just going for a new one here, and he's going to get it. Uh, so that's a good job by him. Takes the beam instantly into Laguna here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, here's the pressure in into Laguna here. Triple Howl here. Tremor's gonna be topped. And actually, uh, Blaspodar has to pop his actually like, Sham Rage instantly. Azel catches a lot of trouble here. Full dust and so much pressure into him. He drops to 30%. And Sidru has to use something to pick him up, man. He has to pop the tree already. <coughs> He's stuck in a DR fair. No Tremor available for that one. And the uh, as uh, Blastborn is stuck in actually a hex here, so much pressure coming into this evil genius team, and here goes CS into this elemental here. I feel like they're under so much heavy fire, and the elemental doesn't have actually sham rage. He has to drop healing time as well. I feel like this team is forcing so many cooldowns out of them, and here's a triple DR howl or something like that. But they're not doing anything to this actually uh, hunter lock shaman team. I mean, they haven't done anything to them. I feel like they've just been standing in their face, doing around as much PV as possible they can, and. I don't know, man. Here comes the uh, here comes the uh, uh, demon soul, man, from Azel, but he gets CC'd on it, man. Good job by Laguna howling on that, because he had actually our master popped as well. He wanted that one shot on Oi instantly, but he couldn't, man, because this huge peels. Yeah, now it's looking rough for Team EG, but look at that. They did manage to burst Reed down to 30%. He caught a gigantic heal, though, paying him back up to 100% health. Mana wise, CD doing a little bit better than Hangarik. There's the little. Uh, uh, beam going down. They are trying to hit Laguna right here. Azale does have four embers, I believe, because he is just glowing red fire. Laguna at 86% health, still soul swapping out onto everybody. His Dark Soul is coming back yeah, up. Yeah, here's how man. No tremor available. I feel like Azale's in a lot of trouble. Actually, late tremor available. Here goes a silent shot into that. Is there any more CC available? I don't think so. But yeah, there. I feel like this winter is coming. He's having so much pressure into Team EG here. I feel like they need to respond here. And here comes the respond on Bash. And OE is just going to go down with a trinket. And he trinketed with this. Uh, I mean, the trinket, the terror is really, really late, man. I feel like he should have just done it earlier. Because that was so scary. I would have done it instantly when I got bashed on that HP. But Azel taking a lot, of, a lot of heat here. He's trying to get a Chaos Bolt off, man. But he actually realizes he has to just back off here. And he pops that Ember. He's trying to get healed up. And CDU has to pop his shrooms as well. Laguna taking so much pressure here. He's on 30%, man. And he's catching so much elemental burst on himself here. The Laguna looking for fair on CDU, man. But he's doing a nice job of waiting, uh, avoiding it. But again, still so much pressure into Team EG here. They need to respond to here. And here's a lot of pressure into Laguna here. Here comes the beam out. But Laguna as well has his Demon Soul pop. They should get something going on with it. A lot of dust on Azel. But here comes a scatter trap on CDU, man. And he does a tr he trick it, that's what. Now see, Azel's still in a lot of trouble here. Any CC for CDU. And he's gonna go down, probably. I mean, he doesn't have much available right now. He's on 30%. He's just spiking up and down. CDU doing anything he can to keep him alive here. And that was a lot of pressure on Azel, man. And I feel like this team, next CC chain, I feel like Azel's actually gonna go down if he doesn't have a lot of embers or a lot of stuff back. But yeah. You know, he will have heals up. There's the NS Hex coming out from Talbadar onto the Shaman of Hingarik. He's going to have to sit that full. He does have a trinket available if he wants to use it. There's a burst coming into Laguna. He goes from 100% to 37%. He's going to take the Demonic Gateway, but he's away from his Shaman now. Oh my goodness, this is not looking good for him. Might I just die? He's tunneling into him. There's a beam. Oh my goodness, there's a Cyclone onto Hingarik. Will he actually go down? Yeah, but he don't dodge him. Pop, but... The, uh, Look at Team EG, so man, they're also history. low as well. CDU has to pop Treeman to keep them alive. Azel was on 30%, and uh, Talbadar was on like 30% oh, or something. But Laguna is so low, there's a fear, and there's no Spirit Link coming in, man. And he's gonna go down. At the same now, time, Azel taking a lot of heat, but the game. Nah, he's fine. He's gonna, he's gonna use his healing cooldowns, gonna use his Ember Tab, so that's gonna be a win for EG. You know, EG really. 
pushed the envelope there at the end. Yeah. I was a little scared for him. Uh, but they saw the Dark Bargain. They saw the Warlock was below 20%. So Azale just, uh, I'm sure he threw a Shadow Burn into him. Talbadar was also throwing out the Lava Bursts. And then, you know, the Warlock took 26,000 DPS. Tw so 26,000 times 8. Uh, it's like 300,000 damage or something. Yeah, I don't know. Man. I'm I think that's about math. how much he took. Yeah, I'm not the best at math either. Uh, but so basically, the dark bargain. What it does is it cuts the damage in half, and then it does that damage one per one every one second over eight seconds. So let me see. Calculator. He took twenty six thousand times eight. So he took two hundred eight thousand damage after a fifty percent damage reduction. So he took about four hundred sixteen thousand damage in eight seconds, which is a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. And I guess we're gonna look into what map Winter's Coming is gonna want here. But yeah, I feel like that was. Uh, I didn't actually see it coming, to be honest, because I felt like Winter's Coming was doing a lot of good plays in that game. Uh, they did force a lot of CDs over and over again, but they didn't manage to get him in like before the CD cooldown came up, man. That's what mm -hmm. I was missing, and yeah. So I feel like if they actually pushed in for. CC a bit faster between like when they didn't have CC and stuff like some fears or something between the tremor CDs I feel like they would be able to kill a Zale or a blast with her. You know the thing is that it was so hard to actually land a trap on Sidu and that's because uh, Talb was either grounding them or eating them or a Zale was eating them and it's it makes it a lot harder if you can't actually trap the druid so I I'm actually extremely impressed with Talbadar and Elemental Shaman I want to bash him because he bashes me every chance he gets, but I can't. Blaspidar is a fearsome foe, for sure. All elementals are fearsome foes, man. They have the yeah, let's face it. I mean, that's why Tal re-rolled, you know? It's because it's so easy to play elemental. He's like, well, everything else is hard. I'll just pick the easy spec. That's why Tal did it. Tal sucks. See you, Tal. <coughs> <coughs> Was that rude? I'm uh, sorry. Was that uh, unprofessional? Uh, very unprofessional. You're so yeah, bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm joking. I should just quit. We can join the gates. And the gates are open oh, now. Okay. We're gonna go in yeah. to the second match here. Match points for the first series here for Team EG. <coughs> and I'm actually starting to get really bad as I'm losing my voice. That's okay. <coughs> I gotta throw these guys. I gotta. Oh yeah, tell them about that they shouldn't uh, start with uh, the new gateway so fast. Because they actually finished off casting their gateway before Azel actually managed to start casting his. Oh really? Yeah, Azel said it. Just let them know. Okay. I'm watching. I'll be watching like a fucking hawk dog. Not to be confused with the hot dog. But yes. That sounds really oh. cool, man. Like a hot dog. Yeah. Hide your UI. Hide your UI. Hide your UI. I will. I just need to count down. Okay. So I'm going to be watching this guy. If you want to watch Zale, make sure that his gate isn't early. Oh, yeah. I will. Three, two, one, go. Okay, gateway was good. Yeah. And Azale's gateway is probably not going to get off. Oh, nice knockback by Seadu. That's going to give him the gateway. The good is actually going to gateway in. Very interesting. Rain of Fire is being put down. It's going to allow him to build some more embers already. He's down a little bit low on health. He actually used spell lock and silencing shot. There's a triple Shiba. howl here, and he doesn't tremor so. it. I, I don't know, man. They're going to be able to maybe set things up here. But here he comes a little bit late. here. Yeah. And there was a Hex going out onto Talp. He actually ended up trinketing that. Sidu is actually caught in a full trap, so Azale's in a lot of trouble. He may want to pop an early cooldown right here, because they do have Dark Soul pop. They're popping so many defensive cooldowns. But actually, they're going to go offensive instead. He's going to use his Aura Mastery to do big burst onto Laguna. Laguna already popped his Dark Bargain. That's very important. And his Unending Resolve. So all he has left are cool his healing cooldowns. Might I just die? It's at 50% health. That is Talbot are playing that. Sidu in tree form, trying to keep him up through the, the Dark Soul. 
and the Stampede coming out from this Hunter because this is really the only burst opportunity that they have. I like Zidu's cooldown management right here. Uh, the Dark Bargain isn't actually going to do too much damage onto Laguna, but again, they force Dark Bargain and Unending Resolve. That's so huge. They should not have used Unending Resolve there. Maybe only use Dark Bargain or uh, Unending Resolve again. But there's a big Hell of Terror going down. Tremor Totem was used, so that is going to be killed. Zale probably going to look for a Fear onto the Shaman pretty soon here. A uh, Tabadar just being able to tunnel into his target of choice, which appears to be the Hunter at this point. But the damage from our LSD is pretty high. But look at the damage onto his Dale, dipping down to 64% health. And oh my goodness, there's a Hex going out on mine. I just die as a Hall of Terror lands on Sidu. Zale line of sighting quite nicely, only really taking damage from the Fox. They may actually want to start killing the Fox, and that's what Azale does. He's going to emulate that thing. Laguna caught inside of a Solar Beam. They are doing some damage onto him. He needs to push in for a Fear onto the Shaman. You can see him running at him right now. Uh, Lacuna also playing that sacrifice spec, and that's because he's worried about his pet dying. Caswell being channeled by Azale right now. Onto Laguna. Laguna dipping down to 50%. The Sonic Shot went in just a little bit too late. And Laguna's actually going to take the gateway, and I feel like they're going to swap over onto the Hunter because of that gateway uh, choice. And they do. He dips down to 30%, 41%. Instantly, he may have to deter. There's a deter. There's a Hellstone. No Shadow Burn was used right there. I really like the swapping coming in from Team EG. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, see, you actually sat in a full trap there, and... I mean, TBGs will start uh, continue bursting. I mean, they're not scared at all. They have so much advantage here, and I feel like they're starting to feel like get the rhythm going, man. Because but that's still actually spiking dangerously low here. It's uh, the, uh, ripping to 30%. Take us a trap here into C Doom, man, and he's stuck in it. But he has to actually tr he's trinkets that one, and I think like Azel is gonna be fine for now. But wow, TBG forcing so many cooldowns, <laughs> even though when the healers succeed, man. I mean. It's ballsy, but it's good, man. It works for them. And Laguna is so scared the whole game right now. When he gets Thunderstorm into the open air, he's gonna take maybe a little bit heat here. Chaos Bolt with the Demon Soul coming in, man. But it gets interrupted here. Laguna is gonna be fine for now. But I feel like when it comes in, man, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt real bad. But here comes the Sign Shot as well. into Azel. They don't want those costs coming in, man. And here comes the Scatter Trap. This is gonna land. It's gonna land, man. No trick available for CD, man. And yet, and Talbot are taking so much damage, he's dropping to 40%. Shamrage has been popped, but look at Laguna. He's going 30%. in on Laguna. He may actually go down here. The heals go up. He's at 14%. He's in Shadowburn range. Azale does use the Shadowburn. It doesn't actually go for the kill. So that's not good for him. He maybe didn't have enough embers for more than that. There is the Tremor Totem on that big Howl of Terror. But they forced every single defensive cooldown. But Laguna's Dark Bargain and Unending Resolve are coming back up. Cedar dispels a UA right there. Talbot are taking a lot of damage, actually, down to 58% health. A haunt on him, but not many dots. A little unfortunate for Laguna. Uh, Laguna actually chosen to dot up Azale once again, despite the fact that he had the haunt onto. Talb, but look at Laguna's health down to 44%. He needs to recognize that his Dark Bargain and Unending Resolve have come back up because he's going to take heavy fire in just a second. There's a Hex going out onto Hingarik, a really nice spear onto Talbadar, though. Azil goes in with the Chaos Bolt. It does end up landing onto Laguna. Laguna down to 75% health. Grounding Totem does get destroyed by a Lava Verse proc by Talbadar. Little mistake right there. Azil is going to port away at 60% health. He does use his Unending Resolve. I don't know if I agree with that either. I think he should have just stayed line of sighting. Heals coming in by Talbadar as well. And the Tranquility was recently used by Sidu. So the tree form is available, which is the big deal. So I feel like EG is still in a good position, especially with all these Prox Talbs getting onto our Hunter, down to 40% health. Healing Tide Totem was also dropped. Healing Surge is being spammed, and it looks like they're going to be okay for now. But Azale is the one in trouble. Talb ended up grounding this trap. Looks like he went for it. Uh, Sidu actually ended up having to Trinket. Talbadar did as well. Oh my goodness, not looking good for EG at all. Both using their Trinket right there. A Fear onto Sidu. No Tremor is available once again. Azale should just line his sight. Use his embers, uh, maybe try and pick himself back up to full. Sidu's mana is looking fine. They just need to survive this little scary burst moment, but the Dark Soul is coming back up, and I feel like True Form is going to have to be forced when the Dark Soul does get used. Yeah, I agree with you, but if they land actually good chances here on Sidu, they actually might take this one. And I feel like that's what they need to focus on. I actually need to get some cross CC going on on CD and Talbadar and kill Azel off, man. Get some perfect stuff going on, and they can take it, but Laguna taking so much pressure. Again, I mean, he's all the time under so much pressure. I feel like he's having such a hard time here. And yeah, he's always on 40, uh, 40 50%, 60%. But Oi, at the same time, dripping dangerously low. He actually had to defend death there. He was on 50% there. And he's taking some procs there. But yeah, I mean, it's their important. Line it's important to note that the Fox did just go down. It was resummoned via the uh, Heart of the Phoenix, I believe is what it's called. So if they kill it again, that will be very good for Team EG. Big damage going into Oi right here. Demon Soul and Eskinas are popped from Team EG, man, and they're gonna look to do so much damage on Oi, man, and he gets catches a huge heal there, and he's gonna be fine for now. I thought he was gonna go down, but again, CD's got a 
Koi in a full to CC man, and he's a full trap here, but so much pressure coming into Talbadar. Is he gonna be fine man? Any more CC on Sidu? But there isn't, there's some full fear. Is they gonna have Tremor for that one? I don't think so man, it doesn't look like it. Talbadar is still off feeling and line of sighting nicely behind the pillars. It doesn't gonna matter if Sidu is in CC, this communication is good. They're just saying line of sight, I'm CC'd, and that's what they're doing here. Turning things around, Oi on 40% has to deter it immediately as Hinger and was stuck in a clone here. Yeah, you can see the heals still being pumped out by Sidu. Azil was dipping quite low on health. The blooms were also used recently by Sidu. I don't know if he has an opportunity to uh, reapply them, but Big Bird's going into Laguna right here. Hingerick choosing to sit that hex. Very ballsy. Heals used by Laguna. He's at 70% health right now. Uh, I hear so many procs going out. Uh, they're going out onto the crane, actually. So he's actually dismissing his pet over and over. Uh, wow, he dismissed that as the Chaos Bolt was going in, and it actually ended up hitting a dead crane. So uh, the Fox is back out once again. Greater Fire Elemental is out for Talbadar. They're trying to get the burst opportunity going once again, but let's see. Let's take a look at the cooldowns. The Dark Souls back up in 40. Chaos Bolt being channeled right here. Who is going to be the target? Looks like it will be the Hunter. The Hunter is completely fine on health. Sido at 50% mana. King Rick down to 42% mana. He's going to drop his uh, Windwalk totem right there. Healing Stream is down as well. Capacitor totem does go off by Talbadar. He's going to get a Hex off of that. We is at 68% health right here. Still catching some heals from the Healing Stream and the Riptide. You can see that Talbadar is being tunneled into by this Warlock. It's who the Malefic Grass was channeled on. Big Hall of Terror does go out. Nice job by Talb to tremor that that one because CD was caught as well. A silencing shot on that Cyclone cast. Very nice silencing shot by Ui. Talbadar trying to kite away. He's hanging out by the gateway. He wants to make it so Sidu can line of sight and still pick him up quite nicely. Uh, Sidu may be going to go for a drink right here. I see him hanging out behind the pillar. He's actually going to go for a Tranquility. A spell lock onto Ui's revived pet right there by Azale. And now Hingrick still at 41% mana. Chaos Bolt being cast by Azale. Looks like he actually ended up canceling it himself. He thought he was going to get shocked or something. And he got a new pet by Ui, just to mention. Yes. Yes. And yeah, I mean, here's a full howl into this team, man, and there's no tremor available for Hingren. Oi, in a lot of trouble here. I feel like if they get something more into Hingren, and I clone anything, and there is this clone, man, the terrorist has been forced. Good job by CD, man, landing that clone here, but Laguna at the same time with him, so up, but he's taking so much damage, man, he's spiking to 30%, has popped his shield wall, this is gonna be enough, man, he's on 30%, he's just trying to line the sight, and he's gonna be fine for now, catches a decent heal here, but uh, as well, I mean, there's the turning things around, pressure on to Oi, man, so much pressure all the time from this team, but again, Azel taking a lot of trouble. He's on 30%. Healing coolness has been used. Ember has been popped. He's on 30%, and he catches a huge heal. I feel like that was Blooms or some, I mean, uh, Shrooms. But again, yeah, he. He did end up using his Mushroom Bloom ability right there. Taldar still trying to do damage. Uh, he does have Ascendance coming up. Actually, he has it available right now whenever they want to use it. Laguna is at 60% health. There's a solar beam onto Hingerick, so maybe now is the time that they want to do it. Uh, the offensive gateway is in position as well. We is down to 80% health. Hingerick getting mana back. Sidu getting mana back as well. Uh, Sidu caught in a full fear. And, you know, both teams are in a good position to get a kill right here. Who's actually going to end up getting it? We down to 50% health. There's a Cyclone onto Laguna. <coughs> Burst coming in onto We. Good Feign Death is going to stop a lot of pressure coming out. But Azale, his life loops are going to proc. He's at 51% health right here. He has used his Unending Resolve. May want to use a few Embers. He does have a lot of Embers available if he wants to use Ember Tap to pick some health up. Laguna does get locked out there. I believe it was just a blanket. But look at Azale's health. Still the main issue. Uh, Hall of Terror does go out. CD was caught inside of a silencing shot. He used his blooms once again. Swiftman has been used. Iron Bark is on Azale. It's about to fade in about three seconds. Azale still needs to be picked up. It's a very scary moment for them. Dark Souls coming back up in 30 seconds. Stampede is available in one minute, so they need to have an answer for that, and I believe c tree form will be up at that time. Yeah, I agree, but it feels like this actually is going to be a draw here, and it's, if it's one point for each team, it's going to go to actually EG here, so we'll see about that, man. I feel like Winter's coming needs to make something happen real fast. I mean, uh, if they maybe get some CC on uh, CD now, as he doesn't have Trinket, maybe they, it could be time to actually get something going on on Azel. But Azel pops that Demon Soul here, here comes the Chaos Bolts, man. This is gonna land here, they go actually on uh, the sh uh, Talbadar taking actually a lot of damage instead, man. And yeah, Hinger in, in some CC, but Talbadar taking most of the heat in that little battle there. And again, Laguna taking some heat here. Still Hinger, actually uh, stuck in a full Hex here, good job by Talbadar, man. And he, Laguna still fine for now, he's standing, not even line of sighting here. But again, Talbadar under, under so much pressure here, I feel like he's actually playing defensive, maybe. And he's gonna go for line of sight, he's gonna be fair, mean to the open here. I feel like now is the time to actually make something happen here, maybe get some CC on CD. But no, they're actually gonna fall back here. And here's the Revive Pet, nice job by Oi. 
reaching the time limit very shortly here. I'm not sure exactly what the time is because there's a delay and I don't have the timer started, but I believe that means both teams will be awarded a point, correct? Yes. So as long as EG can survive for a little bit longer, then they're actually going to be awarded uh, and win this series, but the Dark Soul is popped by Laguna, but look at him, he's taking massive damage down to 35%, back up to 82% health, but Talbotar down to 55% health, he is being healed by Sidu, he is in tree form, Spellock goes out onto Azale, he does have uh, Dark Soul available in one minute, but the game will not last that long, I believe it has been uh, 11 minutes at this point, uh, the Hallow Terror does go out. But so I don't want to play it out until actually the admin stuff them, I'm scared of actually fucking up anything, and I get blamed, so yeah, I'll There's just keep commenting. My party right now. Okay, but yeah, yeah, keep 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 commenting. Commentate for the you people. Okay? Yeah, in case here, people don't. No. Uh, here comes a lot of pressure into Talbadar, man. He's stuck in 60%. Uh, and he sees here on CD, man. And he actually is in trouble here. Azel trying to get something going on That's here. He's just both men. And Oi is gonna go down here. Wow. Nice job here. <laughs> just amazing. That burst, man. Just came in. Oi actually just uh, flopped, man. Yeah. He melted. So in case in case anyone didn't like that, both teams awarded one point. Team EG did manage to get the kill anyway, but uh, it has been the time limit, so... Uh, I, b I believe it's still going to be a 2-1, if I'm not mistaken, since yeah. the time limit w was officially reached, and I think it's a very strict time limit. Uh, so, yeah. But that was... See... <sighs> that was a game that I enjoyed. Maybe it's just because I know the players personally, but it's it's always more fun when you're invested in the game you know yeah, but I, I have to say I really like Laguna's play I know for sure it was a warlock from uh, one of the previous tournaments but I was really impressed with him I had never heard of him before and I really like this guy's play uh, he he only messed up once that game and I think it was when he did the dark bargain plus on ending resolve but he didn't end up dying anyway so uh, I'm um, sorry he didn't end up dying due to lack of cooldowns anyway so I, I still would critique him on that, but it didn't actually cost them the game at any point. <sighs> that was good. That was fun. Yeah, uh, it was a real good game like here from both sides, actually. But I feel like um, the Hunter Wolk doesn't really have enough burst to actually finish the game off, man. I feel like that's what's missing. Maybe the BM burst? Or if he was BM, I actually... I'm spacing out completely right now. Memory loss. Nah, 